Brothers and sisters, good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's a good day to give God the praise. Amen. 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 All praise and honor is due God. We glorify him. We magnify his name. We make his name great among the people. He has a name that is higher and greater, he being Jesus Christ, the Son of God, a name that is greater than any name on earth. Amen. As we celebrate his birth, we also think about what he's done throughout his life and what he gave us. Amen. 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 Everlasting life, abundant life, a fruitful life, a spirit-filled life. Somebody yeah. ought to give God yeah. some praise in this place. Amen. We're now ready to begin our program. Amen. Our choir and those that are on program are going to come now. And let's worship him in spirit and in truth. May yeah. I go ahead and welcome all of you this morning. We have several guests in the audience. I want you to know how pleased we are to have you worshiping with us. Feel free, amen, amen. feel free uh, to worship with us as we go through these services. Amen. amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we will have, first of all, joy to the world, and the welcome will be by Christopher Miller. Amen. amen. That's my apologies. I was called up to do this, y'all, in the late right. notice, so y'all play with, be with us this morning. First, we will have a song, Joy to the World. Shall be upon his shoulders, 
and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. Next, we will have prayer by Maniah Williams. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for someone's when I pass, Lord. Yes. yes. Thank you for Blue Cold my back, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for all those who came out tonight, Lord. Yes, yes, yes Lord. Be with us. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, please pray for those who's all, all out of the corner, Lord. Yes, yes. Lord. Pray for those, those who are sick today, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Touch, Lord. Pray for all those who are all in need, Lord. Yes. yes. Pray for the homeless. Yes. Yes. Lord. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Next we're going to have uh, Little Brayton McKnight.
Norman Pickens. All right. All right. Christmas love, paraphrase of Corinthians 13. If I decorate my house perfectly with plaid clothes, rows, strands of twinkling lights and shiny balls, but do not show love to my family, I'm just another decorator. Amen. If I slave away in the kitchen, baking dozens of Christmas cookies, preparing a go gourmet meal, and arranging a beautiful adorned table at midnight, Meal time, but do not show love to my family. I'm just another cook. Amen. If I work at the soup kitchen, uh, carol in the nursing home, and give all that I have to charity, but I do not show love to my family, it profits me nothing. Amen. If I trim the spruce with shimmering angels and crochet snowflakes, attend a myriad of holiday parties, and sing in the choir but do not focus on Christ. I have missed the point. Love stops the cooking to hug the child. Love sets aside the decorating to kiss the spouse. 
Love is kind, <coughs> though hurried and tired. Love doesn't envy another's house that has been coordinated with Christmas china and table windows. L love does not yell at the kids to get out of the way. Love does not give only to those who are able to give in return, but rejoices in giving to those who can't. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love, love never fails. fails. Video, Video games will break. break. Pearl, Pearl necklaces, necklaces will be lost. Golf clubs will rust. But giving the gift of Christmas love will endure. Amen. Amen. Good morning. We are the interpretations. I'm Pop. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Carlos. <laughs> and I'm David Ruffin. <laughs> you ain't no David Ruffin. You Calvin. Yeah. Yeah, you Calvin. I'm Calvin. And we're going to do our rendition of Silent Night. Here it is. All right, now. <coughs>
to be here. To the officers of our church, God bless you, and I thank God for you, to First Lady, Sister Baber, Amen. Uh, one of three of the interpretations, uh, to our associate <laughs> minister and wife, uh, Reverend and Sister Davis, uh, mother of our church who is absent this morning, Mother Dorothy Wade, to all of our members, and to all of you, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and all of our guests, amen. 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 Welcome to the Lord's house. It is a very blessed day. Amen. I'm not going to read scripture, but when you, not to open, but when you get time, read through again Luke's gospel, chapter two. Uh, and, and there are several things uh, several scenes that, that if you will allow your mind to meditate uh, on that passage that will come out. You'll, you'll see different people. Uh, you will see several places, uh, a number of situations that, that the parents of Jesus Christ faced uh, at his birth as well as uh, John the Baptist. One of the messages in this book is that there are several messages related to Christmas in the book of Luke chapter 2. So I want to talk about the Christmas message right. or the message of Christmas. Right. It won't take me very long. <clears throat> And when we look at Luke chapter 2, we, we quickly come to the conclusion, as some of our youth have already said, that, that Christmas is about more than just the candlelight and the decoration and the trees. As a matter of fact, if we, if we looked at it deeply, Christmas is about more than our families, more than food, more than parties more than fun. There is a much deeper meaning. And when we look at the celebration of Christ's birthday, who was God that became flesh and walked among men. Amen. We can truly say that that was one of the greatest moments in history as we know it. Mm -hmm. a a amen. It is a time, it was a night of blessings, it was a night of miracles, and, and it was a night when God moved into the world and would eventually die for the sins of the world. Yeah. And although it happened over 2,000 years ago, amen, it is still as fresh 
and as meaningful, amen, now as it was then. And that's the reason that we ought to be able to give God glory yeah, and give yeah, God yeah. praise if yeah. we know him amen. as our personal Savior. Amen. The first message that I see in this text is the message of the innkeeper. He preached the message, mm -hmm. amen, in, in not having any room for Christ. Yeah. He preached or delivered a message of rejecting or not having room for, amen, Christ's parents. Note this, there was no room in the inn, but what about the innkeeper's room? Could, could he not have given his room? He can clearly see, I'm sure, that Mary was about to have a child. Yes, sir. A a amen. And, and we'll jump on the innkeeper, but how many of us fail to do what we can for those that we can see are in need? Sometimes you don't have to ask anybody, do you need help? You can look at them and know that yeah. they need help. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The innkeeper, although there is no evil intent mentioned, turns his back on this lady who at this moment was in need. Wow. It's a message of sadness. No room for Jesus. A amen. I wonder, do you have room for him in your life? Wow. Amen. What is it that's in our way? A a amen. Of letting Christ in our lives. What is it that's in our way that we can't even praise him even this morning? I know it's Christmas. I know food is high. Gas is high. Amen. But I serve a God. Wow. Amen. Wow. That everything belongs to him and I will give him praise. This message is a message of sorrow. Amen. No Jesus, no hope. Come on. Amen. No Jesus, no hope. Without him, without Christ, there is no hope, no future, and no life. Amen. This innkeeper's message, amen, is a message of separation. He's all comfortable and comfy and secure in his bed, but Jesus is lying in a manger. The innkeeper's rejection prevented him from knowing the joy, amen, of the shepherds, and it may have even kept him from knowing the joy of Jesus Christ as Savior of his life. Secondly, I see another message that is delivered by the heavenly choir in verses 10 through 14. The angels deliver a message of peace. Yeah. It is a soothing message. Fear not. Mm -hmm. Amen. And for somebody this morning, we need to know that Jesus removes all fear. Amen. Whatever our fear is, fear of death, mm -hmm. fear of hell, fear of Satan, and sometimes even the fear of life itself is removed through Jesus. It is a salvation message. Good tidings, great joy. Yeah. Amen. It is good news to all people. <clears throat> and at the same time, it is personal because the angels say unto you, this day is born a Savior, yes. amen, which is Christ the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even the shepherds yeah. preach a message. Mm -hmm. well, oh, yeah. Right Their message is a message of praise. Mm -hmm. They are considered to be social outcast, their duties amen, made them unclean, and as a matter of fact they couldn't even come in the temple uh, while they were carrying out their duties, a amen but, but it is these social outcasts that were probably the men who raised the lambs amen, that would be used in the temple sacrifices would be the first to get the message amen and meet the Lamb of God. In the shepherds we see a message of praise, a message of obedience, a message of opportunity. And as they return, amen, to their sheep, amen, they realize that they're still shepherds, they're still outcasts, amen, and although their circumstances hadn't changed, 
their hearts had. Yeah. Oh, the Lord have mercy. Can I talk to somebody in here this morning? Amen. Because when you receive Christ, your circumstances may not immediately change, but you have something and someone in your heart. Amen. That will give you a reason to praise God when the storms are raging in your life and the winds are blowing and the floods are coming down. And somebody in here this morning ought to have that message of praise. You know what God has done. You know what God has brought you through. You know what God has brought you out of. You know where you came from versus where you are. Somebody give God praise in this place. This morning, it is the message of Christmas. Yeah. The innkeeper rejected. The angels had a message of peace. Yes. But the outcasts, oh, <laughs> and that's yeah. what I like about it. Yeah. Yeah. That that the outcasts had a message of praise. All right. Am I talking to anybody in here this morning? All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the song is true. Yes, he loves me. Amen. How do I know it? Because his word tells me so. It doesn't Amen. matter who we are. Mm -hmm. Amen. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But guess what? He died for us all. Yeah. Amen. And that in itself mm -hmm. is enough to give God praise for him. Amen. The message of Christmas is found in Luke chapter 2. And there are several messages preached. What message are you preaching about Christ today? Think right. about it, and may God bless you, and may God keep you, is our prayer. Amen. Amen. As we open the doors of the church, the choir, hang on just a second, the choir is going to come, and we want to offer an opportunity For someone to accept Christ, first of all, as their Savior. Yeah. That's first and foremost. And if you've not accepted him as your Savior, today, this moment right now, is a good time. Amen. If you have accepted him and you would like to become a member of our fellowship, they for Second Baptist Church, family, the best church in North Mississippi. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This, is, this is your opportunity to become a member of the greatest church yeah. in Amen. North East Mississippi. And we would love to have you Amen. as a part of our family. The doors of the church are open. Will you come? sing and maybe someone else here this morning. Amen. I, I, I sense God moving in this place. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Y'all come on. Amen. Jesus, Jesus. 
give God a praise. Amen. Yeah. I tell you, you are an evangelist this morning. Brothers and sisters, we have before us this morning Brother William yes, sir. and Sister Amy Mimi Anderson. And, and, and your desire, my understanding, is to become members of our fellowship. Is that correct? Amen. 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 So, they, they don't know me. I'm getting old. I got a story for everything. But back in April, they 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 attended pretty much on a regular basis. Started attending on a regular basis. We had a mobile food pantry uh, in May, and and we had been soliciting volunteers. I look up. It was hot that day. I look up, and William was throwing watermelons <laughs> and Mimi was sweating like all packing them boxes and they weren't even members and we've had the pleasure of them working with us over the past few months and church it's a blessing to have this family as a part of our family let me just do a couple of housekeeping things if you don't mind amen but no let me do it this way you may have something you'd like to share <laughs> well, I just want to say, I guess that it'll be nice to be recognized as a full part of the family, and yeah. I think we just felt like it was time to go ahead and become members of the church. Praise Amen. the Lord! Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord! Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. 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 I'm already working. We'll continue working. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Enough said. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. The two of you coming as members, uh, have you accepted Christ as your Savior? Have you ever asked Christ to come in to your life? Yes. Yeah. Been, um, well, growing up and... Uh, all right, baby. Christ died for your sins, yes. and that He rose again from the dead for that purpose. Okay. Uh, have you been baptized? I have not. Okay. Would you would you want to be baptized yes. in obedience yes. to the Scripture? <laughs> so y'all gonna make me cut up? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Amen. Brother William, have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Have you been baptized? Praise the Lord. Oh, my goodness. Look at God. Look at God. I'm going to sit down with both of them. And we're going to share some. And as, as I think about this, what better way to usher in the new year, which is about two weeks off. And if that'll work, my brother works on Sundays. He is a law enforcement officer. And if that'll work with you all's schedule, I would like to baptize yeah. on the first Sunday morning wow. of 2024. <laughs> Sister, you're a blessing. You just don't know. Amen. And, 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 and their spirit, we, we have worked. Uh, we were already treating them like they were part of the family. That's right. yeah. uh, William, will you go do this? William, I need you to run over here and do this. Amy, will you do this? Uh, Mimi is actually what we call Mimi. Will you? I'm blessed and we're blessed to have them become a part of our family. We're going to set some time. We're going to sit down and talk some. And, and we're going to baptize the this young lady uh, on the first Sunday. Uh, of 2024, yeah. which will be New Year's Day. Amen. What a way. Yes, sir. What a way to start the year. Amen. Amen. And we want to go ahead and officially welcome you all to our fellowship with all of the rights, all of the responsibilities, and I always put responsibility in there. 
you have a number of rights and privileges, but also the responsibility as members of our church family. We are proud Amen. to have you all as a part of our family. Can we give God praise? <laughs> and in a few minutes, uh, when, when we go to the foyer, I'm going to ask them to come with us. I want us to just go ahead and receive them, fellowshipping with them into our family, and then we're going to formally uh, do an acceptance uh, when we baptize Sister Mimi on the first Sunday. Will that be okay? Amen. Amen. Can we give God a hand clap of praise? <laughs> and, 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 and this is what families, families, is what you're going to see in 2024 as well as some individuals. God is sending us some people. I know he is. He done already told me. Amen. And, and, and we're going to praise God for what he sends us, and we're going to use everybody that God sends us. You all may be seated for right now. Come on, church. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Woo>. <clears throat> Hallelujah. It is the spirit of the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and to hear that witness and testimony, that witness, amen. And, and y'all may not could hear, but she said, Absolutely, when I asked if they wanted to become a member of the church, absolutely. Uh, want to be baptized, I'm ready. That's what God is looking for, soldiers yes. Amen. Yes. who are on point. No hesitation, no reservation. If that innkeeper had had that kind of heart, he would have made room for Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, he would have made room, Amen. but his heart wasn't right. Mm. And sometimes our hearts aren't right. We've got stuff blocking. Amen. 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 And Christ can't get in. Is there another today? Is there another that would like to accept Christ or become a member of our fellowship? We are a church that believes in worship. Amen. Believe in witnessing. We believe in working. Amen. 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 If there is one, you may come. other things that we're going to do and then we're going to fellowship. I overlooked one of our minister's wives this morning. I apologize. Uh, she has a different look this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was some young lady visiting us. <laughs> it is Sister Cannon. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I can't, I don't see as well at a distance. I'm sorry about that, but we are grateful. She had told me she was going to be out of town, too, or traveling. I think you had said, mentioned traveling. I assume that was today, but I'm glad you're here, and I'm sorry I overlooked you. Amen, amen. We also have a great friend of mine uh, from years ago, and our past crossed again a few days ago, is uh, Minister Anthony Reddick. And I believe you have your family with you. Is that correct? Uh, amen. amen. And we're very glad uh, to have them. I got some amens from that baby uh, back there. That's the other reason I like to have children. <laughs> amen. Amen. We want you to know that we're very pleased to have you worshiping with us and that you're welcome here. Please come again. And you don't have to stop back there. Now, what we do is... We let you decide where you're comfortable. And, and, and I used to tell a uh, church that I served, they always wanted me in the pulpit, but I like to sit out in the audience. It doesn't matter where you sit. Amen. You still call. Yes, sir. Amen. But wherever you're comfortable, amen. God bless you. We're getting ready uh, now. Uh, Dickens, Brother Anthony, Brother Robert, other brothers are standing, so y'all can remain standing with them. And we're going to make some... Okay. Uh, I have a gift from the uh, women's ministry to the uh, baby family. 
Merry Christmas. You say. All right. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. She said the thing is so Ernest Saint's been training Tyler. He know he know what to do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, our deacons, as they stand, going to make some presentations to our volunteers and, and staff. Uh, Brother Deacon. <clears throat> Y'all can come over to this side. Brother, y'all come on over. Come on over and stand with them if y'all don't mind, please. How are we doing at all? Again, good morning. It's been a blessed day. You know, and throughout the Bible, God calls us to be thankful and grateful to those who help us. This can come in many forms, verbal praise or the shake of a hand, but the most common and appreciative way to recognize church members is a gift. So at this point in time, we have several, uh, first and foremost, pastor, first and foremost, uh, and Sister Baber, uh, thank them for leading us, and it's been a blessed year. Uh, we are very blessed church, and I'm full now. I had no idea that my son and daughter, I don't call her daughter-in-law, daughter, daughter uh, we're going to do this today. Um, it's, it's, it's very rare that you have, as it says, a family that prays together, stays together. My family, we probably disagree more than probably anybody. I'm a hard person to deal with. Uh, Connie and I, we laugh all the time. I, I have a lot of expectations for my family. Sometimes it gets in the way. But if as a leader and as a husband and a father, if we don't start putting some limitations and leading our families, we're getting further and further behind. Amen. And I've always been taught since I was a child, you bring them to church. You don't send them to church. And if you raise a child up and when they get old, they will not depart. And I'm thankful to see my son. He's still young, but I'm glad to see that he's willing to serve, and he's serving right alongside me and my wife. And I'm thankful. Amen. At this point in time, I'm old. If anyone has any gifts, I'm going to give a few gifts first. And then if you have gifts, you're welcome to come up and share your gift. Uh, Sister Angie Terrell. And this is just a small token from the church. Brother Robert Cook, he didn't think he was going to get anything, but Brother Robert Cook, he's, he's the chairman of the Deacon Board, and he works tirelessly. Uh, he's actually moving a lot more than, than than we are. He's always busy, but that's a small token. Uh, Sister Shirley Ware, she's I think she's out she's out next door, so I'll take her. Uh, Sister Kat Cobb, Catherine Cobb. Good morning. <laughs> that's a joke between her and I. Okay, it was midnight one night, and she called her good morning. <laughs> Ann Simmons. I don't know if she's next door, but I have hers. Sister Amy Anderson. Brother Williams probably going to hurt over that because he, he works it sometimes too. <laughs> Sister Misty Miller. Denise McKenzie. I don't think she's here, but I hope. Jamie Ware. Can you she may be she next, door. next door. Charlie Flemings. Amen. 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 Always on the door. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. Always on the door. Amen. Mr. Jimmy King. Amen. Mr. 
Jimmy King going once, twice. I get him in a minute. He ain't gonna leave that post. <laughs> I get it to him though. Uh, this one here, I don't like calling this name. Brother Steve Johnson. <laughs> A lot of people don't know Brother Steve. He does a lot. Amen. And he don't ask for anything. It's my all token. Mm -hmm. Come on, Miles. <laughs> and this one, same thing. He, they, they, they both talk about me. Brother Lee Berry. Yeah. I'm sad for Sister Dorothy Wade who passed away since you were here. Sister Dorothy Wade. Oh, thank you so much. To Minister Hugh and Sister Cheryl Davis, you have to come again. Amen. 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 <laughs> She has a gift, because I didn't think my baby, my wife and I either thought that Sister Fallon would say anything today, but she came right in, and Sister Baber, she already told me, Sister Baber said, oh, she gonna do it, and I had no idea, me and Cotton, and they just, thank, thank her again. Amen. 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 Let's give our youth a hand. And again, Sister Tina and Sister Baby, they do awesome with our youth. They they do exceptional. Reverend, Reverend, send the babies, send the babies up here. Yeah, your baby. Yeah, your baby. How many babies you got back there, Reverend? Two. Take two. Take two. We bring them to you. I bring them to you. He gonna bring tea. Take take to the minister ready. Brother William said he would take it. Yeah. No, you're not a baby. You don't need to <laughs> no. She is not a baby. <laughs> We got one special gift coming right before we dismiss. Did every child, every child that's in the audience get something? Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Every child. Okay. If no one else, then I'm going to. Uh, Minister Davis has a gift that he wants to give. To the pastor. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all know uh, our pastor 
He's a hard worker. And when he's working, he gets kind of excited. And it uh, kind of has frightened a few people. Uh, when we work out food drive, I'm actually the traffic director. Right, right, right. But I send them to the pastor. And uh, he has a slogan that kind of frightened my wife one time. He said, Stop right there. So we got five with that one. Well, he did it again at this last food drive. And it hit Sister Mimi, our newest member. He said, stop right there. And she came to Sister Davis, and she said, he's going to have to work on that. <laughs> so with blood pressure, we don't want his blood pressure going up. We don't, you know, we don't want to lose our power. So we got you your own stop sign. <laughs> Now. <laughs> stop right there. When we say stop, when I say stop, I mean stop. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, I didn't know what you all were doing, so put that in there for the pastor. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> right, blessings. Blessings. Blessings to you. I don't need a mic. You don't need a mic. I'd like to say good morning to everybody. Good morning. I want to say welcome to our newest members. They've helped me out a lot, and I'm really appreciative of them. Um, speaking of that, there's a member in the audience. I don't know if they want to be revealed or not. They are going to make a contribution to our technology department to help us upgrade all of our equipment and our services and that everything will go smoothly. So I'd like to say thank you to that. Wow. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm going to have to use that stop sign so we ain't preaching a little too long. <laughs> 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 don't, 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 don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Amen. Hey, 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 God bless you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it, it's been a blessed day. That's my son, 19. Love and have mercy. Um, to the member that is helping with the upgrade because we had just mm -hmm. said we needed to do a couple of things. We we started technology-wise to just see if we could get it to work. Uh, so we went to minimum. Now we're getting ready to upgrade. That gives our services on YouTube as well as some other things. So thank you for that. Along those lines, mm -hmm. Brother Robert, uh, Sister Misty, and I received a check uh, from the Create Foundation uh, this past uh, Thursday, what day was it? Thursday? Thursday, Thursday morning uh, for $500 uh, for our monthly And somewhere in the upcoming couple of weeks, is my understanding, you will see a photograph of us in the Pontotoc progress. You'll want to buy some extra copies, I know. So <laughs> just keep that, keep that in mind. God bless you. Uh, you'll hear more from me, church, later. What I can tell you is that our church is flourishing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our church is flourishing. And, and you all have been very supportive and very prayerful. I want to encourage you to do so. And we have some other things on the plate for 24. We're not going to stop. We Amen. want to add to and build Amen. on what we already have. So be prayerful. And, and you'll hear more about that in the upcoming um, weeks. I'm going to hide the stop sign so the tower can't get a hold of it. And I thought that lady the other day was going, she kept 
and she was in the wrong lane, and then she kept rolling after I told her to stop. So, uh, when I said stop, stop. Uh, I'm going to go down to the podium in just a moment. I want everybody to come by, have a little happy for all of our uh, adults, and, and in no way uh, will compensate for what you all have done uh, for us, for my family over this past year. But I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I love you and I appreciate every one of you. Uh, glad to have Sister Jones. Thank you. Amen. 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 Always glad to see you. Minister Reddick and your family. Y'all come back. Y'all come back to see us. Uh, Pastor Man, Wednesday night, the male chorus, plus Brother Anthony, will practice. <laughs> we will practice Wednesday night. And next week is Christmas Eve, so we're going we're gonna to keep the celebration going. So our men are going to sing. We're going to keep the celebration going. So I would encourage all men, if, oh, you're, yeah, if you're not a regular member of the male chorus, come and practice Wednesday mm -hmm. night, and let's show these ladies how it's done. Amen. 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 All right, we're getting ready to go. We have a fellowship next door, a uh, uh, small fellowship of refreshments. I would that everybody would come fellowship with us uh, and give me just a moment before anybody leaves. Let me get to the lobby uh, so that we can give you some happiness. May God bless you. May God keep you. I'm going to ask our brethren, if you all would, return thanks for our offering, and we'll be ready to go. Yes, Lord, Father, once again, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this hour of service. Well, Holy Father, we ask that you just continue to bless each and every one of us. Holy Father, continue to cover us with your love. Yeah. Holy Father, as we leave this place today, we ask that you just give us traveling grace. And Holy, <laughs> Holy Father, we ask you to bless each of us individually and then bless us collectively. Well, Holy Father, now we ask that you bless this offering, and we ask that it be used for the divine kingdom. This is my prayer in the name of Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God rest upon each of you. <laughs> <laughs>